my beer. I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> What's going on here, man? I just a sword and everything. Oh yeah, I figured you could just hold on to that. Oh, we rolling? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the whole thing like this. Just hold my sword right here and talk about the film. Yeah. What do you think? Like, should I hold it like this? What do you think? Like, oh yeah, we gotta do distancing. Oh, so good. why don't I just hold it like this the whole time we talk? I'm just kidding. That's uncomfortable. What about if I just like hold it right here in front no, of the no, camera? No. Bring, bring it back towards you. Oh, okay, I see. While we a talk move, about the movie, I hold it movement. just yeah. like that right there, dominating the. No, that's not okay. No. But you can strap it across your chest. <laughs> strap it across. Put it across your chest. Oh, not when you're sitting. Anyway, yeah, this, it's just in the shot. Take it on yourself. This is the katana that stars yeah. in the film uh -huh. and the series uh, of the what the um, South Texas Chainsaw Murders um, Chronicle One: The Unknown Soldier. That's right. Um, Feature film we've been working on for going over two years now, right? Was it August? It was two years? Yeah, it's just about two years, yeah. Yeah, I remember, listen, the moment I met Julio, we was all about business, okay? I met Julio on the set of a, a m and video. The call went out. They needed some extras. But Keep going. They, I'm going to check focus. And what they wanted was people to dress like uh, L.A. gangsters. Come with the khaki pants, the Chuck Taylors, the uh, white tee or wife beater, white one. That's what they wanted. So, you know, we all down there looking like that. Had I known they was going to supply Chuck Taylors for everybody, I wouldn't have worn my <laughs> but listen, we down there by the water, and this is, I mean, we on the set, we on the set for 12 hours, they never used us. Where are we in? This is an Eminem video. Where, what city? Detroit. Okay, we're in Detroit. Yeah, this is Detroit, I and mean, it was over there off 4th Street, that's what this place at, at was. The old Fort. Yeah. Fort, what is it called? Was it Fort Wayne, Fort Gratiot? No, it was Fort Wayne. Gratiot. Fort Wayne, yeah. yeah. And, um... Yeah, beautiful set and everything. We're just hanging out in this huge gym and a hundred, a hundred in the same yeah. clothes, hundred of us. Yeah, man. Uh, let's go do. Let's do a uh, formal introduction, uh, real quick. It's it's uh, COVID nineteen, twenty twenty. That's what this is all about. So we're just gonna do a maskless formal introduction. So you see our faces. You'll see in the movie. You see his is FBI agent Hastings. Also um, known as Julius Klein III, the right. J to K to the three. This is my main man. He plays Hector Sanchez, our anti-hero. Julio yep. Liel, Liel, Liel. Liel Martinez. Martinez Liel. Martinez Liel. I am Julio Martinez Liel. I am Julio Martinez Liel. Um, <laughs> Julio Liel on Facebook and when that's the stage name. <laughs> Doing, um, you know, <laughs> making films. Yeah. Uh, working on The Unknown Soldier right now um, with Julius for the last couple years has been a crazy ride between a day job and the day job paying for the movie. I'll go ahead and mask up for safety reasons and go forward. Dude, it's just been too much fun. Like I said, from the moment I met Julio. So I told y'all, we was all dressed up like, uh, you know, well, I'll tell you what Julio had on. He had on his, uh, his white, white t-shirt. He had his white tee on. And he had his, uh, his khakis on, his dickies or whatnot, and uh, his Chuck Taylors. But, you know, his, his pants was up higher than everybody else's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His pants was up higher than everybody else's, you know what I'm saying? And, and everybody's sitting down having some food. Julio... That's He's standing up. He walking. He walking through the crowd, <laughs> looking cats up and down. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you know it's funny because you be sometimes you're in the uh, when you're the extra, you look around 
and you forget where you at because the scene is so real. Like for a second, I forgot that I was on a set and he looked just like Edward James almost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I felt like I was in some real gang shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, this cat is on something. That's an honor. <laughs> I mean, the Edward almost thing. Yeah. Not on something, but. Uh, <laughs> he was on something too. I was he, on a mission. Yeah. And he started recruiting folk. I was casting. <laughs> exactly. Yep. He was casting. And and hunting for a team. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's one thing that I want to, you know, just take a straight shot to yeah. is to yeah. a team yeah. effort that, mm -hmm. you know, you get to spend eight hours with a cat on a set mm -hmm. talking shop all day and they haven't, and the PAs are like, I hey, don't screw with around with these guys. <laughs> they got better things to talk about. You can tell. <laughs> Let's get out the rest of the extras onto the set. Because they just kept buzzing by us as we discussed, you know, what we, our experiences. And I discussed, uh, you know, the, the South Texas Chainsaw Murders. Um, a short film that's on YouTube that I've, you know, uh, decided to augment quite a bit. <laughs> this isn't the, the typical boob job, baby. <laughs> You know, taking a 16-minute short film, and uh, I was thinking maybe, hey, I'd make an hour and a half movie, mm -hmm. push it to an hour and, you know, uh, 45 minutes maybe, two hours. Well, now we're at two hours and 40 minutes of a story on a timeline with eight more scenes to film. Which, due to COVID and everything, we've been slowing down, but I haven't stopped. <laughs> um, Julius was holding the studios down while I was in Hollywood lockdown. Um, had flown out there, got locked down while I was there, thankfully with my equipment and everybody being safe. So far, awesome, you know, on the team and everything. It's been an amazing reality that we, I keep, you know, thanking God for every day. Uh, while I was out there with my associates from Hollywood and everything, I decided to keep rolling and casting different characters that I was deciding to do here, but while I was in LA, I had to keep rolling and editing the film. We're at, like I said, two hours and 40 minutes. I'm going to segue into uh, Hec one of Hector's um, <laughs> accents in the film um, <laughs> and to talk more about the film and move on from the story of it, right? <laughs> Did you have anything else you wanted to add to meeting on the Eminem video? Oh, that was a great day, man. We was down there all day. It was 200 bucks, like 12 hours. They took one picture. They took one picture. That was all the work I did that day. Me too. Well, I, I helped with the um, catering a bit. Oh, okay. And I, and I met this guy. So it was definitely worth it. Kevin Tates, Kevin S. Tates was there. We yeah, I Kevin worked with Kevin socialize. on. Uh, I worked with Kevin on another project, on a couple other projects actually. And so it was good to see Kevin down there. You know, it's interesting how, like now you have friends on the set. You yeah. know what I mean? There was a time you just go down there. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, there's other people there, but you don't know any of them. Mm -hmm. You know, and now you know, like having been doing it for some time now. You like, you like running to people you know. That was quite common in Hollywood after mm -hmm. the first three years there. Yeah, certainly. People that I met um, six months in were popping up everywhere that I was uh, doing background work for and other featured work as well um, for TV um, and different um, docudramas, um, dramatizations and whatnot. You get to <laughs> see a lot of the same faces about Tinsel Town at that. Um, so it was, you know, once something I had hoped that I would see Julius again. And when I decided to drop the hammer on um, expanding the expansion of the South Texas Chainsaw Murders, um, currently on YouTube, I add again. Um, <laughs> well, I made the call, we showed up, and we started um, bringing. Hollywood creativity that, you know, people will call magic, but it's work. And <laughs> it's, it's vision being transferred to physical and physicality in 
to tangibility um, for live action work. And then if you have a million dollar budget, you can accomplish some of what we've done on this movie. And maybe Julius can elaborate more on that while I take a sip. Dude, it totally beats getting a real job. Getting paid to play make-believe and dress up. There's nothing better. And that's what we get to do here at Julio Studios. That's right. Man, we did some far out stuff, man. Julio says, uh, all right now, Julius, what we're going to do next is a halo jump. like, man, you must really have some contacts. Man, this cat is, you know, like, you have these thoughts, like, high altitude, low oxygen. Low open. <laughs> low, low opening, high altitude, low opening jump. Into Syria. Yeah, into Syria. We're going to do it in my garage. Oh, he's got a plan to pull this off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm with it. Let's get it then. And a plan we to, to pull work. this off. I love it. It's, it, it's raw. <laughs> <laughs> and we went to work in the base, in, in the garage. You know, it's, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not even going to tell you any more than we did a Halo jump. Julio Studios, a.k.a. 